what's going on everybody? Dale Valor here from Modern Valor Dating with another MVD exclusive video. All right, so here's the deal, man. Check this out. So I truly believe in life that you should be looking to do something bigger than yourself. Being on your purpose, trying to accomplish things that, look man, not things that are just about your instant gratification, right? Things that are about something larger, on a grander scale, man. And you know what the thing is, is that if you go back and you look at one of the videos that we did about the five attraction triggers, right? That's something that Mystery put together, so I give him all the credit for that. But here's the deal. One of those things is being a part of something bigger than yourself. And I truly believe that your purpose, now you could argue, you could say, well, it's my purpose, it's all about me. But your purpose is larger on a grander scale because it incorporates something that is gonna take other entities, that's going to take other people to help you fulfill it, okay? So that's the deal, man. So when we're talking about something bigger than yourself, what are we talking about? How can we get to that? How can we start working towards that and piecing that together? That's what we're gonna get into today. I have a few thoughts on it. We're gonna hop into it right now. Let's go. Number one, find your purpose. All right, look, I've talked about this a million times on this channel, okay? Uh, my video editor is probably so tired of hearing me say your purpose that, um, We'll see if this video even ever comes out. <laughs> but here's the deal, man. When it comes to finding your purpose, all right, look, you know, a lot of times people don't know what that purpose is. They don't know where to start. They don't know what they were put on this planet to do. So they just go along to get along. Go with the flows. See what happens. I have a few goals. Let's see if it works out. You know, that's not finding your purpose, man. Finding your purpose is finding the reason that you're here. Okay, and look, man, it might not be that easy to find, and that's okay. That is going to show you that you need to have life experience, that you need to get out there and try as many things as possible. All your peripheral interests. If you wanna take a cooking class, do it. If you wanna learn how to drive a race car, do it. You know, all those things that you're like, hey, that'd be cool to do one day. Maybe I should do that. Make that day today. All right. Get out there and start learning and finding out things about yourself and see what resonates. And then you're like, oh, man, you know what? This is really dope. I should do this. I think I may have found my purpose. Then invest everything that you've got into that purpose. Now, it could be volunteer work. It doesn't necessarily mean a job, okay? It could be volunteer work. It could be, um, it could be a job. It could be starting a business. It could be, uh, you know, one of your hobbies that you end up monetizing. You know, like, look, there's a million different options and there's a million different things to do, but it's up for you to find out what that is. All right, we're gonna get to number two. Let's get it. Number two, work towards your purpose, all right? Look, we talked about finding your purpose on the first point. This one we're talking about, what are we talking about? This one we're talking about working towards your purpose, all right? So now you went out, you tried a bunch of different things. You figured out, okay, this resonates with me. I could see myself really doing this. Okay, man, now look. Work towards it, give it your all. Find out everything that you can find out about it. You know, a lot of times people don't budget their time well. You know, they're like, well, you know, how am I gonna invest time into this when I work an eight hour, or eight to 10 hour a day job and you know, I'm working 40 to 50 hours a week, maybe 60, um, you know, I gotta sleep, I've gotta eat, I got other things to do, other commitments. Look, man, if this is your purpose, this is the thing you need to go all out for. Now, I'm not saying just quit your job and do this, okay? Now, maybe that might be a reality, and maybe that might be something that you may wanna consider if it's feasible for you, but I get it. Okay, look, maybe you have bills, maybe you have um, commitments, whatever that looks like, okay? But the thing is, is if you budget your time correctly, even if it's just an hour a day, right, seven days a week, 
that's seven hours. Over the course of that month, it's 28 hours. Over the course of that month, you worked 28 to 30, 31 hours on that particular goal. You are 31 hours ahead of the people who are just talking about it, okay? You're the one that's actually doing it, okay? Now, what might happen is things start opening up for you. Things start coming together. And those opportunities lead to other opportunities, bigger opportunities, that maybe at one point in time, you can actually quit your job and do this because that's your purpose and you've been working towards it. You've been studying. You've been doing everything that you need to do, your due diligence to yourself to find that purpose, to put it together, and to work towards it. All right, we're gonna get number three, let's go. Just wanted to take this quick time out just to remind you, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, do so now. Why? Because look, the information here is essential for you to get out here and start leveling up your dating life, leveling up your professional life, and leveling up your life in general, man. So look, subscribe to the channel. Share it with somebody that you know needs to see it, and I know that you do. Give us a thumbs up. All that good stuff, man. And also, August 28th, we're going to be doing our live Zoom event that we do every single month on the last Saturday of the month. And this one's going to be about now that things are opening up, you can get back out a little bit, start meeting some new people. How are you going to do that when you've been locked in a cage for the last 16 months or however long, right? So look, uh, that's what we're going to cover is shaking off the rust. All right. So that's the deal, man. We're going to hop back into the video. Let's get it. Number three, get out of your own way. Man, so often we have these limiting beliefs in our head that tells us we can't do it. Okay, this might be my purpose. How am I ever going to do this? I can't do that. I have all these things going on. I have all these commitments. Uh, you know, I'm shy. I'm introverted. Uh, I don't have the background to be able to do that. Look, man, get out there and start. Okay, here's the deal. If you are in your own way and you are saying these things to yourself, basically trying to prove to yourself and negotiate with yourself why you can't do it, you're not doing yourself any favors. Do what you can do. Look, man, you may not be able to go into it full time. You may not be able to allocate every hour of every day into this purpose and into doing something bigger than yourself, okay? You might not be able to do that, and that's okay. All right, do what you can when you can. Don't say, well, I deserve a break and, you know, because I've been working hard and I, I, I'd like to do this, but, you know, I just kind of want to chill and watch, you know, Breaking Bad for the 18th time. Okay, look, dude, Breaking Bad is always going to be there for you, okay? Walter White ain't going nowhere, all right? But your purpose may go somewhere. It may go down the drain if you don't nurture it. Let it grow. Start working towards it. Start working on it. You know what I mean? Stop thinking that you can't and start thinking that you can do these things. You don't have to do it all. It doesn't have to come together in a week, man. It might take you five years, but that's okay because that's what you were put here to do. All right, we're gonna get to number four. Let's go. Number four, get in where you fit in. All right, so here's what I'm talking about, man. You may not be able to tackle this all at one time. You may not be able to go full force. You might have, like I said before, other commitments, a job, bills, so on and so forth. You may not be able to do it. But here's the thing, get in where you fit in, meaning find a way in. You may have to get a mentor. You may have to get a coach to help you. You may have to, um, oh, I don't know, be an intern. You might have to find somebody who knows what they're doing and ask them questions and understudy them and shadow them and all those things in order to help you, okay? So find that outlet. Find the way that you can contribute 
even if it's for free, until you learn to be able to stand on your own feet and be able to do it yourself. That is so key, man. If you don't have the knowledge from somebody who's already done it, you're really debilitating your chances of really making this a reality. Do everything that you can do within the time constraints that you have to make this happen. There's countless examples of people who have done this. And you can be one of those people that are a part of that company of people who have went out and did it, man. All you got to do is put in the effort, put in the work, all those things. So listen, man, in this video, we talked a lot about purpose, okay? Now, we did a video a little while back on purpose and finding your purpose, and we go really deep on it. So look, if you want to know more about how you can find your purpose, how you can fulfill your purpose, what I want you to do is go to that video. We're going to have it linked up, and all you got to do is check it out, man and start working towards that purpose, all right? I will see you there.